Spanish 2, Contemporary Life, Vocabulary Words 51 through 55. I'm going to say each of these five words in English, then Spanish, and clap. And I'd like you guys to repeat with me a second time. Okay? 51. Spoon. Cuchara. Spoon. Cuchara. 52. Pepper. Pimienta. Pepper. Pimienta. 53. Plate. Plato. Plate. Plato. That's pretty easy. 54. The salt. La sal. The salt. La sal. And finally, 55. Napkin. Servietta. Napkin. Servietta. All right. Cuchara is spoon. Now be careful. We just learned that cuchillo is knife. And we talked about um, your friend takes a knife and goes all gangster and says, I'm going to stick somebody. I'm going to stab somebody. And you say, I can see you need to chill out. Somebody say cuchillo. Cuchillo. Well, cuchillo is knife and it ends in an O. It's masculine. Now say cuchara. Cuchara. Cuchara is feminine and it ends in an A. They both start with C U C H. Cuchillo starts with C U C H and Cuchara starts with C U C H. But if it ends in an O, it's knife, it's masculine, Cuchillo. If it ends in A, it's spoon, it's a feminine. Okay? So words that start with C U C H are either spoon or knife. Now, Pimiento's pepper. Hold it, Mr. Holt. It seems like a couple weeks ago you said that pepper was pimiento. Well, let me say pimiento. Pimiento. If it ends in an O, it's a big, manly hot pepper, like a, a, a ghost pepper or a chili habanero, those really hot pepper. If it ends in an A, it's feminine. It's like uh, in, a, in a salt and pepper shaker on a table. So pimiento with an A means it's kind of girly and mild and meek. And if it's pimiento with an O, it's like hot peppers. Okay? Plate is plato. Remember, if the letters are green, they're exactly the same in both Spanish and English. Uh, one letter difference, you're, you're not going to miss that. That's really easy. Now check out salt. Frequently in Spanish, we take the English word and we just chop off the last letter or two. Okay? Um, salt turns into sal. Finish turns into fin. Um, uh, yogurt turns into yogurt. There are, there are a couple dozen words in Spanish, and this is a good example. So, salt is sal. Now, it's feminine, okay? Now, um, how else can you remember? If you have contacts, a lot of you have contacts, everybody say saline solution. Saline solution. Saline solution is what you use to keep your eyes and your contacts moist, and it has two things. It has salt and water in it, okay? Also, in science, they talk about determine the sal salinity or salinity level of this uh, fluid. It's the amount of salt. So, sal is salt. Now, napkin is servietta. Um, typically, the English word is shorter than the Spanish word, but oddly enough, this is longer. But it's easy to remember. When they serve us messy food, they should let us have a napkin. See the word serve and let and a. When they serve us messy food, they should let us have a napkin. When they serve us messy food, they should let us have a napkin. So servietta is napkin. All right. Time for the post test. Take a little bit. Look at these five words in English and say them out loud in Spanish. Or even better, look at these five words in English and write down the five Spanish equivalents on a piece of paper. All right. This has been Spanish 2, Contemporary Life, Vocab 51 through 55.